Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. In the last video we have learned about uh, collisions using on collision enter function and in this video we're going to learn about triggers. Now colliders and triggers are quite similar but there is a little difference between them so we're going to learn about that. So let's get started. So first of all as you can see to both of these game objects I have a box collider 2D attached. So that is why whenever I play this game you can see that uh, first of all, let me delete this thing here so that it doesn't get destroyed. So if I run this now, as you can see, both of these things collide and since they have a collider with attached to them, that is why both of them are actually uh, not moving or not going through each other. But in some situations, we want both of them to go through each other. We want to check collisions, but along with that, we want to get those objects go through each other so in order to do that we want to make this objects a trigger object so suppose uh, I'm gonna duplicate this quad so let's press duplicate and move it up a bit and move it up a bit now from the rigid body option uh, uh, it has is kinematic checked. Make that checked now from the box collider 2D option. As you can see here, we have an option called is trigger. Now, if we check is trigger, that means after that it will be a trigger. So that means we will be able to check the collisions, but we have to use trigger for that. And other objects can go through this. So it has if it has triggered, that means other objects can go through this. So if you run this game now. As you can see, this object just went through this, but it collided with this. Since it has a trigger, since its collider is trigger, since for its collider, its trigger is checked, so that means it's a trigger and other objects can go through this. So if we want something like that, then how do we check collisions? That is why we need the on trigger enter function instead of on collision function. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, we write void as usual, and then write on trigger enter 2D. Now again, since we are in 2D mode, that is why we are using on trigger enter 2D here. If we were in 3D mode, then we would have used only on trigger enter, not the 2D word. Okay. And inside that function, as a parameter, we have to pass collider 2D call or whatever you wanna name it. And then inside that, we want to check if the same way as we have done in the previous tutorial. If call the game object dot tag equals quad, then we wanna we wanna destroy call dot game object. So the same way as we have done before. But instead of checking collisions, we are checking for on trigger. That means if it has a trigger attached and if it is going through that, if that object is going through that object, only then we want to check if it has a quad tech attached with that and then we're going to destroy that. So let's take a look at that. Now as you can see, here you will see that this object will go through this. It has a quad tech attached to it and it will get destroyed. But it will object, this object will collide with this object, but it doesn't have a trigger tag attached to it. Uh, it also has a quad tag attached to it, but it will not get destroyed. Since uh, we are not checking on collision enter, we are checking only on collision trigger. So that is why, uh, since this collider has a trigger, this collider has a trigger, so this will get destroyed. So if I run it right now, as you can see, this get destroyed, but this just collides with it. Okay. So that's because of the trigger. If you take a look at that, it has its trigger checked and this doesn't have its trigger checked. So that is why this object can go through this and using the on collision, I mean on trigger enter 2D function, we can check if some other object is going through this trigger. Okay, so this will be very, very helpful in a lot of situations. So I hope you guys enjoyed and this video helped. So thank you very very much for watching. For more useful videos, just check out the link in the description below. And thanks a lot. Have a great day.